Alrighty, guys and gals, what is going on, everybody? It's Biggie here with you. Welcome back, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play on the channel. We are playing Starfield. I have never played... Well, this is a new game, so obviously I've never played it. I think this is the first game from Bethesda Game Studios in quite a while. This game was gifted to me by a friend of the channel, a friend of mine, a member of the channel, Mr. Bill Willis. Thank you so very, very much. Now, today is September 1st for me. I think this game officially is, you're able to play it on the 6th. However, because of the version that was gifted to me, I was able to download it and play early. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to jump right in here. Let's see, what is crew? Okay, that's the, uh, gotcha. Okay, let's do a new game here. Start a new game. Yes. I'm super excited about this. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now I work in the Stardock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> one of these days, Hella? I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. All right. Heller and Supervisor Lynn. Okay. Let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty, keep your breathing steady and never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with a breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in free stock collective space? Fewer regs. A job like this in the United Colonies? Huh. Reeves of red tape.
I'm just Whatever following you say, here. Dusty. You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, kick it up. Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. Come on. With me. Okay. Let's go. So far I just have move and jump. Low level Dusty, gravity. You're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Alright, I, I am I'll dusty. Okay, how do I get it? Oh, gotcha. This mouse to fire. Uh, you think we'll be done here soon? Beryllium deposit. How they sucker you to join? Fall for the fancy pamphlets? I'm here for the credits, apparently. I'm the excitement. Busy. You got anyone else to bother? I'm gonna let that slide. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm new. Sorry, I'm new here. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. What is this guy's name? Hold on, Lynn. Minor. Okay. Uh, no webcam, at least for now, because uh, I don't know where anything is going to be on the screen. Second episode, maybe. Let her get ready to move when the wall comes down. Okay. Roll. Hella, get the readings. Yeah, about that. Problem? Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. You don't? That doesn't sound good. It'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. Uh, I don't have. I don't like have a We're light close. or anything I yet. Think, yeah, I don't think. Is just, Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Let me have a look at that. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there. We'll come get you. Uh, why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. All right. Uh, I'm off here. If something goes wrong, they'll come to get me. Oh, I do have F. Okay, I was trying L. All do I have a crouch? Don't uh, think so. Still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. Yeah, I don't know. That doesn't sound good.
I see some deposit. Uh, I see some sort of alien structure. It looks like bone. down on the gun. Yeah, this is where I need to be. What's going on here, man? I have to take it. Gotcha. Oh! Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Here we go. Uh, let's design our character, I guess, is what we're doing here. All right, let's see what we have. Biometric ID. I can rotate. Looks like me, doesn't it? <laughs> let's see. Let's see if we can find a stud. Naturally. Uh, yeah. Kind of liking that. Body. Yeah. That's me. One hundred percent. Wait a minute. Walk style. E no. Yeah, a confident, secure skin tone here. I'm pale as a ghost. So we're gonna go pale as a ghost. Face. Head shape. Big giant head, big square head. Go a little bit wide there. Hair. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, we have so many options here. Whoops. No, hair. Back up here. I need to zoom this out a little bit here. Just give me uh, something kind of normal. Be brushed back. I am not digging these hairstyles, my friend. A little uh, William Shakespeare there. Okay, we're going to go... Yeah, I'm not... I, I got to change this mustache a little bit. Hair color. I've got like, uh, I'm just going to go dark. Okay, yeah. Let's see if we can get a standard. Well, not so. We don't want to go full walrus. Okay, I like the presets here. Let's go, uh, I need a little fuller than that. How does this look? 
Let's do this. Um, no, that's what we're going to do. Okay, facial hair color. Let's put a little gray in here. I could just match it. Okay, we're just going to do that. Eyes. Oh, this is the shape. Wow, man, so many. Oh, there is a refine option, I just noticed. I don't know how important this is. I mean, it's probably not important. Probably never see our character, right? Eye color. Let's see. That's kind of like my eye color. Maybe a little darker. We'll just do this. Eyebrows. Um. Yeah. see okay I brought color just kind of like I wish I could just match let me just just give me dark eyebrows bro okay we'll just do that um I'm fine with the rest of this unless we have like scars or something jewelry wait what is this? Oh, I see. Ooh. Kind of like that. We're going to do that. Scars, here we go. This is what I'm all about. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Ah, bear fight. Okay, we're going to go bear fight. Tattoos on the face? No, we don't want... No, we don't want tattoos on the face. There is so much customization here. Background. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Beast Hunter. Look at... Holy moly, dude. Xenobiologist. Space Scoundrel. Soldier. Sculptor. Ronin. Professor. Holy moly, dude. Beast Hunter, from the Ashta of Aquila to the Terramorphs that plague the world of the settled systems, hostile alien life abounds. You've learned the skills to track them, find them, and take them down. So our starting skills, we have fitness, ballistics, and gastronomy. Interesting. Wow, man. There may be multiple playthroughs of this, I can tell you. Soldier kind of speaks to me. Fitness in space, the greatest commodity is oxygen, and the increased lung capacity gained by a regular physical fitness regimen is essential to survive. We have ballistics. Centuries of conflicts, uh, centuries of conflict have proven that when it comes to threat elimination, few things stack up to the reliable power of high-speed projectiles and boost pack training. Specialized training and innovations in personal mobility systems have allowed for unfettered exploration on alien worlds. I think we're just going to go, uh, well, hold on now. Combat, me combat medic? We're just going to go soldier. I'm going to go soldier here. Traits. Alien DNA. Holy moly, dude. You volunteer for a controversial experiment that combines alien and human DNA. As a result, you start with increased health and oxygen, but healing and food items aren't as effective. That's interesting. You own a luxurious, customizable house on a peaceful planet. Unfortunately, it comes with a $125,000 mortgage. <laughs> no. An empath, you're deeply connected to the feelings of others. Performing actions your companions likes will result in a temporary increase in combat effectiveness, 
but performing actions they don't like will have the precise opposite effect. Extrovert, you're a people person, I am kind of not. A Freestar Collective Settler, you gain access to special Freestar Collective dialogue options. Interesting. Hero Worshipped, you've earned the attention of an annoying, adoring, adoring fan who will show up randomly. Uh, no. <laughs> You really need your alone time. Exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring alone, but more when adventuring with other humans. This is me. So I'm going to pick three of these. Okay, I'm going to pick that as one. I'm going to try to play this close to home is at what I'll say here. Someone put a price on your head and word has spread occasionally. Armed mercenaries will show up and try to kill you, but being cornered gives you an edge when your health is low. Jeremiah Johnson, if anybody knows what that reference is. That's pretty interesting. United Colonies native. Um, terra Firma. Taskmaster occasionally. So all of these have a like a positive and a negative, a yin and a yang. Occasionally you have cr uh, crew trained in certain ship systems. That system will automatically repair itself to full health whenever it is damaged below 50%. However, all crew costs twice as much. Okay, so we're going to have parties here. So this might not work with me if we have to be in groups here. Space, your body has become acclimated to space. Health and oxygen are increased when in space, but decreased when on the surface. Okay. So it tells me I can't use that one. Serpent's Embrace. You grew up worshipping the Great Serpent? Grav Jumping provides temporary boost to health and oxygen, but health and oxygen are lowered if you don't continue jumping regularly. <laughs> That's something I kind of do anyway. That's interesting. Um, Neon Street Rat? Bounty by other factions is greatly increased. You grew up on the mean streets of Neon. We have gain access to special dialogue options and better rewards for some missions on Neon. I'm going to take that. So that eliminates Freestar and, uh, and United uh, Colonies Native. I think I'm going to choose Alien DNA here as well. We have Alien DNA. We're an introvert. And we grew up on the streets of Neon. I'm kind of liking this. I'm locking it in here. We are Eric. Oops. Yes. Name the character. Did I do it? Yes. Finish. R. Enter. Confirm. R. You were a good find when we hired you. Former military always knows how to get the job done. Thank you. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Look at this. Now, I'm assuming um, dialogue matters in this. Choices matter. Um, it was incredible, like a dream or a vision. Everything's a blank after I went to that tunnel. What is that thing? No, I'm going to say it was pretty incredible. Uh, credible. It was like a dream or a vision. Easy there, high flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you No, I know out. what I saw. Don't go having an experience on me. You'll walk it off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Press mouse three to switch between first and third person. Okay, we're going to stay first person for right now. Let's have a look around here. Our constellation contact is on approach. How's Wait, it going, everybody? The explorers group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. 
Half the crew doesn't believe in the How you doing? Whoa, you don't Lynn sure seems animation. to like you. Yeah. Guess she would know. Be in the boss and all. Space? Who does that anymore? Okay. Ain't the space we've already got complicated. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Eller putting that first aid seminar to work on you, huh? Yep. Check you later, miner. Ooh. This has been a good run. You lucked out being picked up for this one. Sorry, was that your locker? I'm just, uh, don't mind me. Just, uh, taking whatever I can find here. Oh! Nope. Nope. Uh. Okay, so how do I... Oh, okay, this is kind of a cool... I'm just gonna take everything. <laughs> Maybe we can sell it or something. Okay, let me check the controls really quick because um, I got to figure out how to put my gun away here. Yeah. No, back. Let me go back here. Bindings is what I want. Okay. Uh, melee is V, throw grenade, we have activate. Okay, so R uh, sheaths my weapon here. There we are. It's kind of interesting. So it's a... You, cut, you have to hold it down. It's not an instant. You don't tap the key. You have to hold that key down a little bit. I'm just going to do a little exploring here. Don't know if carry weight is a thing. We're going to find out. Personal. Oh. Personal log. Heller. Argos Extractors. I figured Vectera for your standard moon. Looks like I was misinformed. Vectera is where we are. Me in on what we're really doing here. Looks like Lynn's got another... What's the word she used? Discreet contract with that Barrett guy. He says there's something special here, and he's paying top dollar for us to find it, rip it out, and deliver it, no questions asked. Barrett. I have, of course, been honoring this arrangement by asking Lynn a ton of questions. She's playing it close to her sweaty old vest, as usual. But a guy does have to wonder, what the hell does special even mean in this case? We're on a moon. In the middle of nowhere. Either this guy wants to make jewelry from some rare space diamonds, or there's some kind of ancient alien death weapon buried here. If it's diamonds, I'm totally stealing one to give to Jennifer. Or Carlos. Or Naya. And if it's a death weapon, I get to shoot it first. Those are my terms. Alright. Well, I don't know if it's cool going through Heller's personal log here. So I'm already kind of getting uh, like an Aliens vibe when they were, you know, the company sent them uh, on kind of like a, a death mission for profit. All right, let's go check in here. Well, hold on. I've been with some outfits that didn't even bother packing medical. All right. Hey, how's it going? Just trying to get through my shift. Alrighty. Argos usually ain't so good at picking sights. Oh, this time, <laughs> like a miracle. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. Supervisor's log. It's day two Lynn. of Argos Extractors Vectera dig. Freestar Collective claim ID Beta 7548 Alpha. Site setup was fairly painless. New record for us. 18 hours, including the elevator. The prefabs are starting to show their age, though. Time to rebudget for new equipment. Again. The crew is good. Spirits are high enough. Hella is a pain in my ass, as always. And completely indispensable. What's the saying? The problem is, I love him, and he knows it. Ugh. 
Calvert remains the weak link. You just can't train away stupid. <laughs> but she's got a daughter on Mars or someplace and needs the cred, so she gets one more chance. All right. If she now does wash out in the end, we've still got the Dusty. That's right. And there's definitely some promise there. The Dusty? I think I'm Dusty. Not sure it's good to leave your uh, personal logs laying around. All right, let's check in here. How's it going, Heller? Hey, you all right? Maybe don't do any heavy lifting for a while? I'm going right to the gym, bro. You taking that? Pencil case. I need the plant. I'm gonna need that cup. I'm gonna need all this. Hey, were you eating that? Take care of yourself out there. Yeah, I will. Uh, hey, that was my sandwich. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. What? Ah, oh, I'm working. Inventory. Okay, certification. I've got skill point, fitness, skills, health. I guess we'll figure this out when we get there. So we are on Vectera, Argos Extractors Mining Outpost. So I want to know what, like, what planet we're around here. Oh my. There's a star map. This is unknown. This is unknown. Oh, this is the surface of the, uh, the moon here. I got gotcha. you. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Okay, it looks like a Saturn-type planet. There's a primary star. Interesting, man. It's rock. Gravity is 0.9. Temperature is in a deep freeze. Atmosphere is thin carb uh, CO2. The ma... What is that? Magnetosphere? Magnetosphere. It's weak. Flana, Florida. Uh, flora and water. Interesting, man. Oh, look at that. Margath, Nira, Crit. This is us. There's two moons. This had the. We have two moons here. Darna, Paula. That zoomed out even further. All right. Uh, back. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. All right. How do I do that? E? Oh, open tab. Um, one small step. Equip a helmet. Toggle which, uh, which quest is tracked on your HUD. Only one quest can be tracked at a time. Select the name of the quest to expand the list of open objectives. Okay. So, equip a helmet. Like, this is what I want to do? <laughs> How do I equip the helmet? Inventory. Oh, select the area in the lower right to access your inventory. It's right here. I see. So we got this circle here. Gotcha. There we are. Um, helmet. We are equipped. Did I do it? No, I'm not wearing it. Okay, let's try this again. Inventory. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Hold. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Getting used to this. Okay, like, do it. Like, equip it. Hide helmet, inspect, sort name, favorite, drop. Select it to equip it. Okay, so this is a little bit weird. It's I was expecting the picture of a helmet. So I think we've got it. 
Got it. Helmets on. Here we go, man. Let's check the gravity. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. You fitting in okay? Yeah, pretty good. How you doing? What's up, Heller? I uh listened to your diary. Give me that. All right, we're gonna meet with the client here. So is there like a, can I walk? We'll figure it out. We'll figure out how to just walk. Actually, let's do it right now. Settings, bindings. How do I just, camera zoom, jump, sprint is left shift, sneak is left control. Doesn't look like I have a, no. I don't think I do. But if I do this, that doesn't, that's not sneak. Barrett? Oh, this is Barrett. Yeah. Been a long time. <laughs> yes, it has. Look at this thing. That mine on Bindi, right? Kazal, hellhole, like this place. Rare mineral contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. I recognize this guy's right. voice. And everything went cool? Not really. Just like grabbing those minerals on Bindi? Kazal, and no Barrett, not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Hey, I'm standing here. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? No, man. I, I know what I saw. I mean, I th I'm going to just play it like I would play this, based on my options. Yeah, you could call it that. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing. Oh, she's got it. She's carrying it. Ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. I'm gonna have to look up these voice actors. On the frontier, a reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I lost them. Oh, shit. Yo. Yo. It's on. We got pirates. We got pirates. Go yourself. I'm going for it. No. She's tough. No, I could do a little bit better than that. This thing's more effective at close range. More effective at close range. You got you boys good?
Give me that. Give me, give me everything. I'm taking stuff off my own people. All that. Looks like I'm low on uh, ammo here. Like it's not recharging up. Maelstrom, Ripshank. That was cool, man. All right, everybody, Can't good. Believe the Crimson Fleet hit us. Yeah, they did, bro. Good thing I was here. This attack better not be coming out of our pay. <laughs> of course, Barrett was being followed every time. Hey, man. What's going on? Well, that was some fine work on the pressure. Well, I'm a soldier. You dug up the artifact, right? I did. That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Um, I don't know if I work for you. Um, if they can tell me what the artifact... They can tell me what this artifact fact is of yours I'm in. Uh, if you'll take me off this damn moon, sign me up. I didn't ask for any of this. What is Constellation anyway? Um... Now, I'm not going to be, like, easy here. And I have no problem with the moon. I mean, I just got here. What is Constellation, anyway? You ever stare up at the stars at night, wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. That does not seem like a good answer. You ever stare up at... Okay. Um... Yeah, I didn't ask for any of this. Hey, um, I wasn't going to bring it up, but we don't exactly know what the artifact might have done to your head, and Constellation is really the only group qualified to help. Okay. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? Oh, right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Okay, so a Dusty is here, like Dusty. a recruit. You're on to bigger things. Yeah, my name's Eric. Okay, so I I was misreading that. Okay, um... <laughs> well, thanks for everything, Lynn. Just go. Before I say something, I regret... What do you well, mean? None of that's settled. What do you mean by that? Let's go. Get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Bosco. Indigo. Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Alrighty, man. Watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Okay. You're giving me your ship? Who are you? What's Constellation? What exactly did we dig up? Who are you? What's Constellation? Should have been the first thing that's been asked here. See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. All right. So what, you're giving me your ship? Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. So we're taking this guy's ship and we're going with the uh, the bot here. All right. What exactly did we dig up? That, my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer with your help. All righty. Why was the Crimson Fleet after you? They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. 
I see. So this could have potentially happened to us if I had chosen wanted, I guess. Well, I mean, this seems obvious to me. I mean, I'm the one who Can touched the over? thing. Good instinct. Let me just exhaust the op the options here. Why send me? Shouldn't you go? Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. All right, dude. And Vasco, don't let him break my ship. <laughs> Anything else to say, Lynn? You going? Staying around isn't helping us out any. All right, well, take it easy. It was weird what she said before. All right, Vasco. It appears you are the new captain of the Frontier. Yes, I am. Yes. And, uh... Can I get... Can I hide my interface here? That doesn't work. We'll figure out uh, screenshots. It's not important right now. First aid. Are you taking that? All right, we're heading up there. Here we go. All right, one small Captain step. Eric, I assume you know how to fly a class A starship. He said as my Eric name. Likes to say it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields just in case there are any difficulties. He said my name. That's so cool, man. <laughs> Dig pick? I don't know if I need to be uh, taking all of this. Probably not. You know the drill, Vasco. Protocol indigo means no deviations, no distractions, no dalliances. In short, no fun. Unless, as strictly defined by Sarah, said deviations, distractions, and dalliances are completely necessary in getting this fine vessel Sarah. The Discovery Class Starship Frontier. Back home in one piece. I guess I'm still technically borrowing it from Constellation. Even if I have no intention of actually giving it back. Alrighty. Interesting. What is this? The research lab lets you discover new crafting recipes by completing research projects. Each research project requires materials in order to make progress. The material needed can range from raw minerals extracted from planets to organic substances extracted from alien creatures or plant life to manufactured components that can be made at an industrial workbench. Alrighty. Oh. That was a kind of cool little thing there. Let's go. I'll take the helm. Oh, yes. I guess I just know how to fly. The rest is up to you. What? <laughs> I need some training. Okay. Let me know how the game works, uh, looks, rather. I didn't know what to expect. It set my default controls, or uh, graphic, as uh, like kind of medium here. Look at this, man. Now that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. That's I can step you through the entire process. Seems like or, a good idea. If you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Okay, where are we going? Here we go. Okay, so hold Alt Left and use a WASD to switch between systems and allocate power. You can skip. I don't want to skip the tutorial. Okay.
Like, I don't know where I'm going, man. Each system on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. Let's go over the engines. Okay. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. A ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge I, that goes up and down as you I adjust do see the that. throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. Gotcha. All right. Boosts can be engaged for temporary bursts of speed. Okay, temporary boost there. Let's turn our attention to the shields. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Without a hull, they'll be vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. Okay, gotcha. Are you sure? With ship combat tactics, because that's a crimson fleet ship bringing oh. its weapons to bear. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can log in to fire a homing missile. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline. Shields are down. I don't know where this guy is. Enemy missiles locked on. I have to evade. You're done. We're going to end up getting wiped here. I don't know where he is. Like, I'm just going in circles here, man. <laughs> Press zero to repair your ship. Press O. There he is. 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 Boosting. Yes! Did I get him? Congratulations on surviving your first Starship assault, Captain. Yeah, it was easy. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. Okay. Fly close to it? So we're... Where did it go? Like how do... Oh, is, is it down this way? Oh, I see. I see. Gotcha. Gotcha. 
boost up a little bit here. Two more Crimson Fleet ships are jumping into our location, Captain. No! Dude, I'm not ready for that. Shields up. Shields are up. Our shields are coming up. Evade, evade, evade. It's kind of like I'm going in the direction it says, but he just keeps turning and turning. I don't know where the hell the guy is. Shields are offline. There he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Can I boost on him. Did I get him? Yes! Get wrecked, fool! Far more than anticipated. At this rate, the odds of continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete, a perfect staging area for pirates. How do I get this? He said to fly close to it, but I don't know how to get like how to get this thing, man. All right, we're just going to move on here. We're going to boost up. Says I'm moving. Doesn't seem like it, though, does it? Set course R. Oh, I see. Uh, yes. lot to learn. Hopefully I get better. We have arrived in orbit. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. I'm 
I've got like an optimal speed, I think, which is here. Do I have to set a course down here? Because it sure doesn't look like I'm moving, does it? Set course? Land. Okay, I see. Yeah. All right. I'm slowly getting it. Pretty interesting. The 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 ship combat is. It's not complicated, but it's definitely interesting. I'll follow you from here on out, Captain. All right. Well, this is uh, a good place to call the first episode, I think. What an awesome game so far. I'm absolutely loving it. Bill, thank you very much again for the gift, my friend. Uh, just amazing. Just amazing. I'm not sure of the, the release schedule for this yet, but the way it looks right now, they're going to be at least on Sundays. So... Thanks for joining me. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I will catch you in the next episode. Take care. Peace.